guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I actually thought I would take you along with my birthday vlog and just kind of show you what I do. Uh, I actually did take the day off from work. I always do for my birthday. I just treat myself and I do a shopping spree with my mom. So as of right now, it's actually the night before and for my birthday, I love making homemade cake or cupcakes. Um, then we just order some pizza and we just come to the house and relax. I don't feel like we're pressured to go, you know, to sit down at a restaurant and then like feel like we're being shoveled out because we're trying to get to the next table. So today we are making fun Betty cupcakes. Um, that's actually what I want to make this year. And my sister did offer to make the cake, but I don't know why for some reason. I just, I like making it myself. So that's what we're going to do. I ended up picking up, like I said, this. I picked up some fun blue frosting with some sprinkles on top. And then I also picked up these sprinkles as well for more fun. And then um, just in case anyone prefers chocolate, picked up the Hershey's chocolate icing. So yeah, I, um, like I said, I, I always take off for my birthday. I've probably been doing it for the last four or five years. And um, me and my mom just kind of get together and um, we just make a day of it. And I wouldn't want it any other way. So it looks like uh, we need one cup of water. I need a half a cup of oil and yes I already preheated the oven before I started it oh god that's a lot okay uh, make sure half cup oil all right and then three eggs sorry my dog is rambunctious apparently Here's what we have so far. And like you guys see, I'm gonna do muffins. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up now. Okay, and so since these are cupcakes, it only says I have to put them in there for like 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Oh, God. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. This makes me so excited. And then also, I'm actually going to do um, these cookies. These sweet Lauren cookies. They are gluten free, dairy free, plant based, peanut, and true nut free. I actually heard about them from Alex Garza from YouTube. Her and her husband have a YouTube channel, and then I know she also does some beauty and fashion. But they're so good. They're the fudgy brownie cookie dough. I mean, I can eat them raw. That's how good they are. Um, probably not the best. Don't really know. But um, yeah, I'm also gonna make these to have tomorrow for everyone to try them. And um, yeah, we'll just wait for the cupcakes and I'll show you guys what it's like. I actually did go ahead and decorate as well. I set that up, did a little happy birthday banner. And then this is a, a little um, singing tray. 
I don't know if it's cheesy that I decorate it for myself, but I enjoy birthdays and birthdays to me, I know it's not a holiday, but it's like my favorite um, day just because it's like the day you're born and it's just, it's about you. And so I always try to recommend, let me put this down. I always just try to recommend, you know, just um, enjoy it and just take the day off for you. Do whatever you want. You don't need to be dealing with customers yelling at you. You don't need to be dealing with, um, you know, anyone really just telling you how to do your day when it should be about you and you do what you want. But um, yeah, I kind of learned that a couple years ago. Obviously, you know, when you're dealing with, um, sorry, you guys can't even see me. <laughs> When you guys are dealing with customer service, um, I'm in sales. I know I never talk about what I actually do, but um, yeah, so it's like, I don't need you yelling at me. No, thank you. Like, I it, today's about me. Like, no. Um, so yeah, we'll um, see when the cupcakes are done. And then um, I know it's, well, I don't even know what time it is because both of those are being used but it feels extremely late right now. Please don't burn my finger. What do you think? These. Oh. Delicious. I don't know why my light looks like it's strobing out. There they are. So it is my birthday and I actually uh, just left the gym. I uh, ended up doing a um, sprint class. I normally do those on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, we have a great group um, and an awesome instructor. Everybody wished me a happy birthday today and I loved it. I really appreciate it. And uh, I actually asked the instructor if she would play my favorite release which is Les Mills Sprint number 12. And I am just drenching in sweat, which is the perfect way to start my day. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to today. The gym actually gave me a free drink. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, there you go. Um, some BCAA to give me some energy for the day. So I thought that was perfect. And I'm just heading home now to get ready. Uh, one thing I would like to tell you guys is um, if you've never tried working out early in the morning, I highly recommend trying it at least once. Um, I've actually been doing it for a couple years now and I feel like the gym is a lot more quieter. I feel like there's not as many distractions and um, I, I personally actually really like it. It's just, you know, I don't feel like people are socializing and everybody has a mission to get their work done and they got to get going to work. So if you're ever hesitant about going to the gym or starting it up, try it in the morning. I know it's really hard, especially when that alarm goes off and you're just like, no, because working out is really a, it's, it's not, it's, what would you say? Like, um, it's optional. You don't have to do it, but, um, it's definitely something to help motivate you. And I, I do recommend it. So yeah, I'm just going to head home now and get ready for the day. And of course I will be taking you guys along with me. My husband wanted to do a two mile run this morning, so I said I would join him. So there he is. Bye bye. Um, so, yeah, normally he actually does this every morning. I normally don't join him, but today I thought I would before um, he goes to work. But yeah, he does exist, guys. I promise. He just doesn't like the camera.
just made it to Tanger Outlet in Daytona. Um, every year my mom and I actually go birthday shopping, so it's really exciting. Um, it's actually pretty quiet today, which is good. And um, yeah, I'll, guys, I'll show you guys later if I pick up anything so far. Picked up one thing from Old Navy. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got you a candle. Happy birthday. When you poof it, the confetti comes out. <laughs> Woo! Happy birthday! <laughs> So it is the end of the night and everyone has left. It's um, just after nine o'clock now. And um, today was a success. I think puppers missed me, didn't you? Uh, but yeah, I um, didn't actually end up picking up too much at the store, but I uh, just thought that I would end the vlog here with a little unboxing, what I picked up at the store, what I got as a uh, birthday gift. So um, I'm gonna kind of mix it up a little bit. So the first thing, I'm actually going to start with a gift I got from my mom. She ended up picking me up some little fuzzy socks from an upcoming trip I have. And then I've been mentioning I've been having some back problems. So she picked me up Icy Hot. And then of course she always just grabs me some goofy little... Um, Yes. Sorry, dog has the zoomies. So she got me a little card. And then, let's see here. The next thing I ended up getting is things that I've actually ended up picking up. I went to American Eagle and I found something. I ended up picking, ended up picking up this sweater, which was on sale. So I thought it was cute. I actually like the color. This is a turtleneck, so it kind of rolls down a little bit. You get the concept there. Perfect. It was like 20 bucks, so how could I not buy that? And then my sister, I'm not going to show it, but she actually got me a gift card to Alphalete, um, which is probably one of my favorite clothing brands. So I definitely will have to go in there, pick out some items, and then I will do a haul for you guys. That was, this was actually a really good gift. I really like this idea. And then, um, my brother's girlfriend, I love these. She actually does a lot of personal sewing and they're for like when you put a bowl in the microwave and you can grab this. So of course you're not burning your hand. And so she made me a set of two. And of course, you know, one crafter to another, it's definitely something you appreciate. So I really like this. Super cute. Get me two. Um, and then my brother, um, I'm not going to show it, but it's called Better Than Sex. It's an actual dessert bar located in Orlando. So um, I guess they don't do any type of gift cards, but he said that I can call up, make a reservation. I thought that was really cool. Never even heard of that before. So um, obviously when I go, I will want to vlog it and see what it's about, but it's strictly just desserts only. So you would go like after dinner. So I thought that was pretty cool. My mother-in-law ended up picking me up a gift card from her to Chipotle, which is our favorite spot. We love going to. Ended up picking up Old Navy. Told you guys, I I do actually like Old Navy. And I ended up picking up another pair of jeans. These are boyfriend style jeans. So those are perfect. Like them, they're on sale. 
can't be a fail. And oh, and then just my final one was so in that old navy haul, I ended up trying on a denim shirt. I ended up actually exchanging it for a larger size, like I told you guys I need it. So I ended up going with a large in the denim shirt. So yeah, and I tried it on and much better. Much better with the large, especially if you have a larger top. So yeah, that, that is all that I got. Uh, I do appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys next week with a new video. Thanks. Mm -hmm.